if you learned guitar the way I learned guitar, you probably, or if you're learning guitar, the way that I learned was I started with chord shapes. So I knew, I knew C and I knew G and D, D7, A, A minor. That's kind of a normal way to learn guitar. And I started by playing Beatles songs using those chord shapes. And what's great about those chord shapes is they can get you up and running really quickly and you can enjoy playing music right away. The downside of learning those chord shapes is it's very hard to break through to the next level of understanding harmony, which is only gonna make playing more satisfying and more beautiful. So I'm gonna show you a little, a little thing that you can pay attention to to start orienting your brain and ears and eyes towards that will hopefully open some new doors for you playing wise. So let's play an A chord. Now I'm playing this with my second, third, and fourth finger. And I'm wiggling the neck because my strings are old and a little bit out of tune. Now what I'd like you to do is just take the top three strings of that. We're only gonna work for now with the top three strings. And let's even make it better for illustrative purposes. Let's do the top down. And the reason that I want you to start seeing it from the top down is to break out of this chord shape emanating from a bottom note up idea. Okay. Now if I said let's move to a D chord, you probably would play. And the good news is that that is totally correct harmonic motion. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about what's going on. Instead of seeing it like grips, Let's try to see that as three singers. Imagine you have three backup singers uh, in your band, in your imaginary band, and one is singing this, the next one is singing, and the third one's singing that one. And you want them to move to a D harmony. This singer would move to there. This singer would move to the here. And this singer, would stay on that note going to the D chord and then stay on that note going back to the A chord. So now if we could see these top three strings as three voices rather than a grip, of course you have to use a grip to play it, but let's tr try to see them as voices. And the playing from the top down will sort of enable you to see that. Now E goes up to F sharp, C, this C sharp goes to D. In the key of A, if we were to assign numbers, that would be a one chord, a four chord, and a one chord. If you don't understand why, don't worry about that. We're just gonna call it that. The funny thing is, sometimes I've, when I've done lessons with people, I say, play a C chord, a triad, and I get them to play this triad. I start them there, and I say, now move that to an F chord. And you know what most guitar students do? Uh, and I did this also when my harmony teacher busted me on it. I just went, oh, no problem. I'm a smart guy. I can, I see that C is the bottom note. And well, if that's the, guess what? That just broke all the rules of harmony. It, it sounds crazy that it did because it makes logical sense, but seeing them as voices, I didn't move in the most efficient way. And this, in a choir, or a string setting, if that was thought of as three voices, that would sound bad, actually, because those intervals don't sound so nice. Uh, it's called parallel fifths. Anyway, maybe I'm getting too far off the deep end. What I want you to do, well, the point I wanted to make was, it's rare that people would do this. But of course, when you're in your open chord position, you see that right away. Okay, that's just an example of how bar chords and shapes can lead you into voice leading trouble.